Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is going to be of particular interest to Python developers who are using uh, AWS for deployment of their apps or their apps are targeted towards uh, deployment on AWS. And most of the time during development, they are uh, required to access certain AWS services from their local workstations. Historically, this has been done uh, through you know long-term AWS credentials. Uh, but with introduction of AWS uh, SSO and Identity Center and uh, its increasing adoption, uh, it becomes challenging for people, uh, sorry, the developers to keep requesting for new set of uh, credentials. So the motivation behind this uh, video slash project was basically the need within our, our own organization where you know, the developers were facing challenges while interacting with AWS services. And uh, they were saying that a lot of their effort or time goes based into trying to get new set of uh, access key and tokens, etc. This has resulted in a, a Python module, which now has been, uh, is now available on GitHub. I'll share the link for the same in the description below. And in today's video, uh, we'll focus on two aspects specifically. Number one is going to be how to configure AWS CLI so that, uh, you know, we can use SSO. So step one, let's do configure the SSO using AWS CLI commands. For this, you have to ensure that your AWS CLI is installed on your system. You can always run this command to check the version of CLI that you've installed. In my case, it is 2.15.58. Uh, please ensure that you have AWS CLI version two on the at the least. Step one, uh, let's configure SSO on the uh, using AWS CLI. So command for that is AWS configure SSO. Now this is the session name. So for this, what we're going to do is uh, we'll call it, uh, let's say test hyphen session. Next is to enter SSO start URL provided by your AWS administrator, followed by the region in which SSO has been configured. We are going to accept the default registration scope provided. And once the entire data has been correctly entered, the AWS configure command will launch a browser window with a pre-entered code, which you can verify with the code which is displayed on the screen. I can bring up my browser window. Yes, as you can see, <clears throat> the code matches the with the code that was displayed on my console screen. Now we need to click on confirm and continue. Once we click on confirm and continue, we are presented with another dialog where we will be clicking on allow access to approve the request. Once the request is approved, we can close this window. And on the console, you will see the list of accounts which are allocated to you. You can choose the right account, after which you will be presented with the list of roles which are available for the selected account. Choose the one which is applicable for you. It may be just one role. In my case, these are two different roles. So now I'm going to select read-only access permissions. Next, we are required to specify the default AWS region. This is the region which is used by bot 3 calls or all your AWS CLI commands while using this role. We will let the default format to be none. We are going to save this profile by the name of test-sso, assuming test is the project that we are working on, like we used uh, for the session name earlier. This completes the operation of configuring uh, AWS CLI to use SSO. With AWS CLI configured, next step is to use by AWS SSO module. Gives an example, uh, which we are going to use for this demonstration. Oh. Now let me quickly uh, walk you through the code. So this is the repository that has been cloned. Uh, if you look at the example folder which has been taken up, there is one uh, main dot file which basically contains two simple routes to demonstrate a fast API application. 
there's a local underscore run dot py. This file is nothing but a wrapper uh, around UVCon and it uses the app which has been defined in the main.py file uh, to be run. And here it's our AWS SSO module, which we have copied into it. So that is the way we're going to implement it. Uh, so in any project that we want to use, we'll just copy this file and import in our local run, which is like this one out here. So what we've done is we've imported the set AWS credentials function from AWS SSO and passed it two parameters. One is the profile name and second is verbose. So I like to see the, uh, you know, commands being displayed. So let me uh, quickly first show you the terminal window and see if this, uh, So this is the terminal window. Now, in order to execute the command, let's go switch to the example directory. All we need to do is pdm run <coughs> python uh, name of the file, which is local underscore run dot py. So if you notice what this is doing is, is first checking for the uh, SSO credentials. And then um, invokes the browser window where you have to approve the code. So I'm going to click on confirm and continue. So once I've approved the request, uh, you will see that I've already logged in, successfully logged in, and I've also fetched the short lived token, which is which can be used by this application to perform all border three uh, operations. So as you would see, the steps are pretty easy. Copy the file into the root directory of your project, set the AWS credentials, specify the profile that has been configured as part of the AWS configure SSO command and use them. That's it. That's pretty much on how to use it. In case you are interested in uh, learning about how does this whole script work, I'm going to create a separate video uh, and update the description with the link, which you can check out. Trust you will benefit from it. Do leave your comments. I would love to hear if there are better options to work with SSO profiles during the development stage. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.